Lawmakers say new proposals can give adult victims of childhood sexual abuse a new chance at justice. Rose Schmidt spoke with women who say they're hoping their stories of alleged abuse will inspire others. Charlotte, the proposals expand mandatory reporting requirements for members of the clergy and give victims of child sexual abuse an infinite amount of time to come forward. But the bills face a long road ahead in the state legislature. Off Commercial Avenue in Madison is a building where Debbie McNulty and Rebecca Martin Bird say they spent a good chunk of their childhood. I would say it was my entire life. The women say back in the 1980s, ministers at Calvary Gospel Church sexually abused them. But when they told church officials, police weren't notified. Rebecca says she was 12 when it first started. Debbie, 11. You know, I was told that if I told my story, people wouldn't come to church. If they didn't come to church, they were going to burn in hell, and that was my fault. So inherently, right away, you learn that it's your fault. I never felt clean. I never felt relieved mm -hmm. of what had happened to me, and I felt like I carried the stain. But that stain is what Debbie says led her to start a blog where she shared her story and soon had more than a dozen people sharing stories of abuse allegations, all from the same church. Many of the women are now in their 40s. Remembering what has happened, it's traumatic. A group of Democratic lawmakers are introducing a bill that would force clergy members to report allegations of child abuse, even if they learn about them in confessional or private conversations. Another proposal would eliminate the statute of limitations on child sexual assault lawsuits. We know that people need time to come forward, time to process the trauma of what has happened to them. Under current Wisconsin law, children who were sexually assaulted have until age 35 to file civil action. But alleged victims say it can take years to understand what happened to them. You know, I grew up not trusting any single adult around me. I still don't sleep. I'm hypervigilant. I have PTSD. But they're coming forward in hopes of giving strength to others. There's healing to be had from speaking your story. Calvary Gospel Church released a statement to us saying we are reviewing those allegations. We will continue to cooperate with law enforcement officials as required. Bills eliminating the statute of limitations on sexual, child sexual abuse have failed in past sessions. Some faith-based groups are expressing concerns about removing that statute of limitation entirely and say that they want to preserve the tradition of the confessional. And Republican leaders did not respond to our request for comment about this story. Wow. All right. Rose Schmidt reporting tonight. Rose, thank you.